Hey naturals, what's up? If you're curious about the difference between American and British English, you're in for a real treat today. I have Anna from English Like a Native. Hi. 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 And we're going to talk about some of the differences between words in American English and British English. We've been having a great time just discovering some of the differences and laughing all afternoon there about There are this. so many differences. Some of them are really funny. You'll see if you keep watching. We just recorded a video about pronunciation differences. So if you're curious about some of the details and the accent differences, you should watch that video on Anna's channel. Mm -hmm. The link will be in the description. So make sure that you go over and watch that. But if you're curious about vocabulary, let's get into it. When I was packing to come over here to London, um, I said, I'm gonna pack my, my fanny pack. Right? I mean, fanny packs are cool again, right? Wait, it's like, why are you laughing? Is it not cool? <laughs> A fanny pack in the UK is, well, your fanny in the UK is, is your, it's, it's your, like, a private part? A it's, woman's private it's part. It's like, yeah, it's like your JJ. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> ah. um, yeah, so we call, say that. We call, a, we call a fanny pack a bum bag. A bum bag. So a bum for Americans, it, it could be like your backside, but it's usually um, a homeless person. Hmm. Um, interesting you say a bum is a word for a homeless person in America because in the UK normally we call the homeless person a tramp. Ah, and in the US, a tramp is uh, maybe a woman of loose morals, let's say. <laughs> I'm trying to be appropriate. Hey, Anna, could I have some chips? Um, I don't have any chips, Gabby, but I do have some crisps. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are chips in American English. Yum! But they're crisps? in British English. I'll just fill in the British English side right now. Uh, I think French fries are... We call French fries chips. Chips. So, so, confusing. so the hot... Fish and chips. Yes, the hot potato snack is chips. Okay. And these in British English are crisps. Okay. It even confuses me. An aubergine. Yes. Eggplants. A what? An eggplant. It doesn't have any eggs in it. Okay, what about a courgette? Um, is that a zucchini? Mm hmm Okay. We call, like a place that you get drinks, like if you go out for a beer, we, we would call that a bar. A pub. That's a pub. Well, we do have Irish pubs, but it's very specific. Like, we're trying to be European. Yeah, and we do have bars, but again, I think bars kind of popped up in, in big multicultural cities like London and Manchester before they became widespread. So I think it's, you know, it's just that kind of cross-pollination yeah. of um, Britain becoming very much like America. And while we're talking about pubs, if I wanted to not go to the bar and just buy my own alcohol, I would go to the liquor store. How about here? Or in Britain, you go to the offy. The offy? That the sounds like the <laughs> office. <laughs> offy is short for off-license. Okay. So if you say liquor store here, we'd be very confused because we don't even really drink liquor. We drink spirits. Spirits? Okay, well we do use well, that word, but alcohol. it's super rare. Uh -huh. Okay, and then if you drink a lot of spirits, I guess you'd have to go to the John, right? The... <laughs> like, the bathroom? Okay, so <laughs> the slang for toilet in Britain is loo. Okay. I need the loo. And actually, <laughs> I wouldn't say John, I think men say the John uh -huh. more. It's like men go to the John, Women go to the ladies room because we're ladies. Yes, mm. um, we generally say toilet as well. Like if you're in public mm. and you need to use the bathroom, then you'd say bathroom even if there's not a bath. Oh. Even if there isn't a bath in that room, we still call it a bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. It's a polite way of asking you to go to the toilet. That's um, funny. But you say washroom, right? Washroom, we say that, yeah. Do you ever say WC? No, I was gonna ask about that. What is WC? It's water closet. <laughs> we don't, but we don't say either. We don't oh, say either, but, but it means... But the signs. Yeah, so WC means water closet, but okay. we never use it. You never use it. Who uses it? <laughs> Who is using water closet? So I was on my way here going, uh, you know, on, on the train. I was in the train station and I was trying to ask information, where is the bathroom? And they were looking at me. No, sorry. I said, where's the restroom? And they were looking at me like, restroom? Yeah. 
Toilet? Yeah, we don't use restroom yeah. at all. Toilet is too direct in the US. We also sometimes will say the phrase to spend a penny. Have you heard of that one? No, oh, what is that? So that is to go to the bathroom. What? Because it used to be, you know, like in public toilets, <laughs> and it still is the case, you have to pay, like in, oh. in Waterloo Station in yeah, London. It's like 30 pence. Or yeah, something. 30 pence. Yeah. Um, which is it's a ripoff, right? Is that a lot? That is a lot. Yeah. I, you know, it used to be a penny, obviously. Oh, <laughs> right. To spend a penny. That's so funny. So, if you're working out a lot, uh -huh. what would you call that? Like someone who... So, um, if a guy is like macho, really muscular, we'd say he's hench. If he's well built, say he's, he's hench, he's big. And, and we would say ripped. That yeah. guy's ripped. Would you say that? Yeah, we'd say ripped, um, but ripped definitely means muscular tone. Okay. So if you have never heard hench. Oh. How about clothes? For example, I was wearing a tank top when I arrived, like no sleeves, and you called it... I called it a vest. A vest! So for, for me, um, anything that's kind of like a string, stringy arms, and there's no sleeves, mm. uh, and it's close to your body, it's a vest. Which for me, a vest is no sleeves, but you button it down in the middle, and you wouldn't wear it on its own. It's like it goes over a dress shirt. Yeah, and that's a waistcoat. That's a waistcoat, but it's not a coat. <laughs> <laughs> but you only wear it for really posh functions. True. Yes. Okay. Now, what is a jumper? Um, so uh, in I, British English, what is a jumper? I, so uh, uh, in British English, it's, we say jumper. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it. What is so? So in American English, a, a sweater uh -huh. would be what in British English? A jumper. A jumper. Okay. <laughs> Okay, a jumper in American English is like a one-piece outfit that includes the top and the bottom oh, together. Oh, a jumpsuit. A, a jumpsuit! Uh-huh. That's what it is. A jumpsuit. A jumpsuit is all in one, like what babies wear, but yeah, yeah. maybe without the feet. And then we have um, oh. braces. Yes, but braces in American English are straight on your teeth. teeth, right? And then we yeah. have braces too on your teeth, but also a pair of braces are the elastics that you clip to your trousers that go over your shoulders. Suspenders. What? <laughs> yeah. Suspenders are <laughs> tights that you have up your leg and you have oh. a suspender belt and they're very sexy. Garter belt. Uh, so garter belt and stockings. Stockings, so yeah. we call we call them suspenders. What? Because they suspend from your leg. Ah, oh, this is so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> do you say flip-flops? Yeah. Okay, you do say flip flops. Flip flops, yeah. Because you know, in um, Australia, off topic. Yeah. In Australia, they thongs. call them a thong. What? Yeah. No. Thongs uh, are underwear. Yeah. Right. Okay, Here good. too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, Gabby, were you confused when you arrived at my ground floor flat? Uh, yeah. Ground floor would be the first floor. There's no. I mean, we just say first floor. We don't usually have a ground floor. See, so for us, first floor would be one level up. That is the first second floor. floor. That's our second floor. <laughs> if you're in a lift in the UK, um, you'll have the buttons, one, two, three, four, however many floors, and then for what is on the ground, the ground floor or the first floor, we have, we'll have the letter G. Okay. So I bet you get confused when you're in a lift Absolutely. in the UK. Because there's, like you said, there's a G or a zero, and I never know. Well, if someone said my apartment's on the first floor, I mean, I guess I would push one because first corresponds with one, but I would wonder, what's on the ground floor? You probably have to ask the mailman on the Absolutely. Way oh, the mailman. Didn't we say postman? Uh-huh. So in Britain, we don't say mailman, we say postman. Right. I say mailman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then line is what here? Q. Q. Something us Brits love to do. We mm. love to queue. Yeah. So you'd be asked, if you push in, um, while lots of people are waiting, you'd be asked to go and join the back of the queue. Oh. Hmm. Or the back of the line, in American English. Um, you really should learn to queue, it's a good pastime. Oh no, that sounds awful. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun at all. I know, but we Brits know how to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, right? So Anna, I wanted to ask you something I'm a little embarrassed about. Um, our president, Trump, uh -huh. I heard that Trump has another meaning. Yes, 
Um, it's actually been quite funny for us as Brits watching everything that's going on across the pond. Um, more so because the word Trump in British English means to fart. <laughs> oh no, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> so if you Trump, you fart. And you have a Trump running your country. Oh yeah, we do. We have a Trump for president. <laughs> Oh, Trump! <laughs> yes! So every time the news comes out, that's gotta be hilarious. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Just, there's just Trump all over the papers, Trump all over the internet. Oh my goodness. Funny. Yeah, there's so many things. I feel like we could go on and on like with our list of different vocabulary words. And sometimes like words or phrases just come up. Like we were talking just casually about friends in common and, and different phrases. And um, what's the one about if you're making fun of someone? So like if someone was making fun of Trump, for example. Uh, they are taking the piss. Although piss- Is it vulgar? It is, it, piss is a swear word. So oh. I always measure it by would I, would I be shocked if a child said piss? Ah, and I would. You would, okay. So, um, but- only. But, so I wouldn't use it in a, in a formal situation, but okay. if you're with your friends and you're grown up and you're mature, then <laughs> you can say um, they were taking the piss. Okay. Um, so they were making fun of, they were taking the piss. And this is a really vulgar way to say that you're going to the John or the Lou or going to the bathroom. And um, we use it in that respect as well. Oh, you so do? So you could say, um, stop taking the piss, I'm gonna take a piss. Oh. But again, in that respect, it was also really, really vulgar. I would never yeah. say I'm going to take no, a piss. No, I would never, because we're ladies. Because I'm a lady. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we do use it in both, in both respects. Okay, Take the piss and taking a piss. Okay. It's, it's so interesting just unfolding the differences. So I think that's a good place to end. We have so, so many. I could, I could go on and on. We're constantly learning too. I'm constantly learning as I just talk to people. Uh -huh. and so, you know, don't be intimidated by the differences. Just get out there, talk to people, and people are nice. They want to help you. So you can just ask, wait, what does that mean again? Like, I have to do that while I'm here. So, um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this and make sure that you get over to English Like a Native. Check out our pronunciation video. It's a blast. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.